Good day. So for today's video, we will give the armor stand a life. We will make it the most destructive weapon ever made. But I don't want you to be overwhelmed by the commands that we will gonna use. That's why we will gonna start first by adding to major skills it can do. To give the armor stand a life, we need first is to rename it to armor stand boss. Once we named it, it will start now to move forward to the nearest mob. And we need to activate the skills using the scoreboard command. As of now, its two major skills are only normal melee attack and fire whirl. Its normal attack deal 2 damage each hit. And fire whirl can deal 5 damage per hit and can set the mob on fire. As of now that are the only things it can do, but we will add more skills in the future, so better subscribe guys. And now, let's proceed to the tutorial. Let's start by making the armor stand boss. Place an armor stand and design it as you want. Now name it armor stand boss. All right, let's make it move now. Place now the first command block. When the armor stand has a skill score value of 1, it will move forward to the nearest mob within its 50 radius. Oh, I mean it will move forward to the nearest entity. Let's summon a test subject. All right, let's create now the skill objective using scoreboard command. Let's make it stop first by setting its skill score value to 4. Now it's just a normal armor stand. Now let's start the commands for the normal melee attack. When the armor stand skill value is 1, and it detects that there's an entity within its 1.5 radius, its skill value will change to 2. Now to apply damage to the nearest entity.
Once its skill value turned to 2, it will apply damage to the nearest entity within its 1.5 radius. Let's test it out! So yeah, that's just what it does for now. Now let's make it do an animation when it applies to an entity. Let's check the animation. All good. Now to return the skill value to 1. After the armor stand applied damage to an entity, its skill value will return to 1. Now to randomize the skill value in order to have access for the fire whirl skill later. This command will randomize the skill value of the armor stand after it applied damage to an entity. Now we're good at normal melee attack. Let's set up now for the Fire Whirl skill. The Fire Whirl skill will get activated when the armor stand skill value is 3. Now for the first command for the Fire Whirl skill. When the skill value of the armor stand is 3, this command will make the armor stand spin. Now for the animation. When the armor stand skill value is 3, it will play this animation. Now for a simple sound effect, which is not really noticeable. When the armor stand has a skill value of 3, it will play this sound. Now to cancel the animation.
Once the skill value of the armor stand is in 3, then this cancel animation will activate. Now to summon the armor stands that we will use for Fire World. Don't activate this command yet. As long as the armor stand has a skill value of 3, it won't stop summoning Fire Whirl armor stand. Now to make the Fire Whirl armor stand move. Now let's set the limit for the fire world. Whenever the fire world armor stands reach the outside 20 radius, it will be instantly killed. Let's activate now the 11th command block. How beautiful! Oh, let me just fix the 13th command. All good. Now for the flaming particles. There it is! Now let's make it invisible. Now they're invisible. But they don't deal damage yet. So now let's make it set its target on fire. Now for the main damage.
Every time an entity got hit by the fire whirl, they'll receive 5 damage. <laughs> It'll be harder to approach the armor stand boss when it's using the fire whirl. Now to randomize again the skill value. Every two seconds of casting the fire world, it will randomize again its skill value. Now let's test it out. Let's just reset this comparator and we're good to go. Oh wait, the default pose was affected by the redstone. Let's create a new one. Now to activate, let's just add a skill value from 1 to 3. Oh, I forgot, since the armor stand boss is using a fire type attack, we should also make it fire immune. Let's summon again the armor stand boss. Oh, I forgot to remove the execute on first tick on the last command block. Now we're all good. Just like I said earlier, it only has two skills just for now. But what do you think I should add next? Comment it down below. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope you did enjoy this video. This is Game Over Gaming, signing out.